Hi, my name is Faber. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a Costco haul and an HEB haul. Uh, I did a little video of Costco while we were shopping and that'll be in our weekly vlog. If it's up, it will be linked right up here in the iCard. Um, if you don't see a link there, that means the video is not up yet and I'll update this video when it is. I'm not sure which is going to go first, this one or the haul. So, um, we shopped at a different Costco than we normally do. We are in the Houston area, just in case you're new to my channel. If you are, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe. Um, my name is Favor. <laughs> Did I already say that? Probably. Anyway, um, I normally shop at the Katy area Costco. My cat is over there playing with a new toy. She's going crazy. So that's what you hear. I normally shop at the Katy area Costco, which would be at I-10 and Grand Parkway. However, this time I thought, oh, let's have some fun and go to the Bunker Hill Costco. Oh, now little dog has stolen. One second. Okay, I'm sorry. Real life around here. One of the cats had a vet appointment today. I bought them catnip and I bought them catnip toys and like all my animals are going crazy right now. <laughs> they all are. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, subscribe for Animal Antics. We have a lot of that here. Okay, so as I was saying, we went to a different Costco. We went to a bunker, the Bunker Hill Costco here in Houston. That'll be along I-10 at Bunker Hill. And there's an H-E-B directly across the street. And so that is where we shopped today. Neither of which are my normal locations. And I have to tell you, I'm not going back to that Costco. Maybe it was just this time, I'm not sure, but they didn't have so many things on my list. I, I'm So I still have to go to another Costco, but I'm gonna wait. It's gonna be a couple of weeks. I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks um, because what we have for now is fine and what I need is in the meal plan a couple of weeks from now, so it's fine. So if you want to see the meal plan and you want to see us shopping and that kind of thing, again, that'll be in the iCard up here, the meal planning, the cooking of the things in my meal plan, that kind of thing. That's what we do in our weekly vlogs. So I hope you'll join us there or daily vlogs. This year, right now we're doing about three vlogs a week. Um, if we're camping, then one will be a home vlog. The other will be camping vlogs, you know, in our RV. So, all right, let's get busy on this Costco haul. That's who you hear panting. She's old. She can't help it. Okay, so to start off, sometimes I get on my laundry detergent kicks. It depends upon my mood, what I want. This week I'm feeling gain, so we picked up gain. This was something I have not seen a wok pan this small before. Um, I liked the size of this. We have a big, huge, giant one, and we never use it because it is so enormous. It just It's too big, so I was very glad to see this one. It was $20, so we picked it up cheese a staple we get it every time we go it was four dollars and 66 cents for this big giant cheese so we bought three of them the sharp cheddar was 6.99 so we bought this one cucumbers because i love cucumber and feta salad hamburger meat i use butcher box but um, this time in my butcher box, I ordered all steaks and um, a couple of other things. So I went ahead and picked up the hamburger meat at Costco. I picked up this one and this one, and I will break it up and freeze it. Bacon, because, you know, it's bacon and uh, we're keto, so we eat a lot of bacon. Well, bacon is something we use frequently. Monk, monk fruit, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Um, I have the golden here at the house. Sometimes you'll find the golden at Costco, but right now all they had was the classic. Butter, because we're about to do a lot of baking, and that is salted butter, but that's okay. We'll just not put as much salt in the recipe. I can't believe I did that. Uh, avocado oil, this is a staple. I typically buy this about once, once a month, once every other month. Pecans, I love pecans, so I always have one of these in the house, and I'm about down to here in the bag I have now. So I picked up an additional bag, and I wanna make some pecan butter. Um, I couldn't find it. I know a lot of people have it at their Costco. I couldn't find it at mine, so I'll just make my own. Walnuts, because I really, I get in the mood for walnuts, but I am gonna be making my own trail mix. Um, so if you'd like to see that, it'll be coming up in a vlog, a home vlog. Now, if you watch me, if you know me at all, I do not like pre-shredded cheese. However, this Costco was out of or didn't carry the big giant 
block, I think it's like five pound block of mozzarella cheese. They didn't have it. And I'm gonna be making a fat dough pizza, fat head dough pizza this coming week, so I needed some cheese. And this one, it only had cellulose in it, so I'm hoping that's okay. I don't know, very frustrating, but anyway, so there's that. And we buy these in bulk. We bought about four of them this time. Um, my husband and my sons use this at work. Um, so that's what they all have. And then this was very interesting. My husband was very, oh, it's upside down. Was very interested in this. Um, it is a bamboo toilet paper. Hold on. Hello, Missy. Hi. It, um, it doesn't use trees, it uses bamboo, so it says uh, tree-free tissue, biodegradable, soft and strong. So we just thought we would give it a try. I mean, why not if it's better for the planet and more, I mean, because toilet paper, seriously, while necessary, it is so, it's such a waste and so many trees. So we're gonna try this. And it was it was expensive, but not really. It was 20 bucks. So, I mean, if you think about it, how much it costs to get the bamboo toilet paper from Grove, I felt like this was a pretty good deal. So that is everything. And it was time to renew our Costco membership. So that's in there as well. So some of the things that they didn't have were healthy noodle. Um, they didn't have, let me get my list and I will tell you exactly what they didn't have. They didn't have pecan butter. They didn't have San Marzano tomatoes. They didn't have bone broth. They didn't have the pork panko. They did not have the almond noodle. They did not have almond flour. And they did not have the cooling baking racks I was looking for. And uh, that's it. So <laughs> I have to go to our local Costco. Again, I, I'll go in a couple of weeks and I'll get it then. So, okay, let me put this away and then we will do the grocery haul to H-E-B, as many of you know. The first thing that goes in my cart is an H-E-B Coke Zero. Is it focused? Come on, I don't think it is, but I love these better than Coca-Cola Coke Zero. These are my favorite, and I get them as a treat. When we camping or when I go grocery shopping, I'll pick one up. I know they're not great for you, but, you know, I don't drink them all the time. Okay, so let's start down here because we ran out of room. <laughs> the tag on one of the bags. Okay, so this is beef broth and uh, just for some different recipes. And these are uh, Italian cut green beans, my favorite style of green bean. Um, I, well, I go back and forth between these and whole beans. I like both. Um, so there's those. All right, so we hit the deli section because I watched a video and they were making appetizers and everything looked delicious. So um, we got some pepperoni. We're also gonna have pizza. So we got some pepperoni. We got some, um, uh, what is this? Pancetta, pancettini. I don't know what that says. I thought this was, not pancetta. I thought this was uh, cap, not capicola. The other one, I can't ever remember the name of it. That's what it is. So we're gonna put these in little, in the baking pan, the muffin pan, little mini muffin pan and put some cheese in them and put a little sauce in them and a little something on top. Oh, yummy. And this is to put on one of Rob's pizzas. It is Spanish style dry cured sausage. It's chorizo. I love green onions. I put it just about in everything. I love them. Um, and then uh, lettuce, excuse me, that is not lettuce, that is celery. Uh, for all sorts of dipping. Um, I have some of the um, cheese in there, flavored cheese, it just, uh, yeah, yeah. The name is escaping me at the moment. So, the kind of cheese I have. Okay, we have Mount Olive Jalapenos. Yes, there's one, two, three, four jars, because I was completely out, and I almost always have a backup on hand, at least two, because seriously, we go through one of these Every two weeks, we love them. Mount Olive uh, Kosher Dill Spears, yum, 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 just because pickles and we love pickles. Mount Olive Hamburger Dill Chips, the best. They're delicious, they're absolutely delicious. H-E-B makes the Mr. Dilly kind, that's just delicious too. Um, this is H-E-B's Fresh Ground Almond Butter. It is my favorite and I love to have it with the 2G, two grams of sugar yogurt. 
yummy mushrooms for pizza, for different recipes um, for my husband. Chocolate syrup, yes, I said my husband and my son are going to be going uh, eating keto with me, but not as rigid as I am. They're gonna be about five or six days on and one day off. And uh, chocolate milk for my husband, um, because he is not starting right away. He would like to finish some things he has in the house. Uh, these are the delicious uh, chips from HEB. They make them at, they have a store, and I can't remember the name of the store, but it's an HEB, it's just under a different brand, and they make them there, and they freeze them, and then they ship them to, um, the local HEBs. So they're basically made in-house and they're really, really good. Cherries for my husband's lunches, grapes for my husband's lunches, tomato paste um, because I watched a video and it reminded me I needed some. You just never know and I like to have it in the tube like this. A white onion, a green bell pepper, a red onion because I could literally probably bite into that and eat it. A red bell pepper, a jicama. I'm gonna be making jicama fries and um, I like it raw. I absolutely love jicama. It is a cross between, I heard it described this way, I usually call it a less sweet apple. So yes, it would be like a cross between an apple and a pear. That's that kind of texture, very crisp. Um, and oh, it's so good. It's not as sweet as an apple or a pear. So it does have a slight sweetness to it, but, and it also has the texture of a potato. It, yeah, it's like perfect. Pico de Gallo, because this is my life's blood. I love this stuff. Um, I had to get the little one because I could literally eat the whole, the big ones are like this. I could literally eat the whole thing with a spoon. I love it. Um, here is avocados because, you know, avocados, you always need them. Uh, tortillas for my family. Small curd uh, cottage cheese because I love cottage cheese and my son loves cottage cheese. Crab. I have been craving like crab salad and I don't know, I, I watched this channel, she puts it on her eggs and stuff, it just, with avocado, I don't know, it just looked really good, so I picked some up. I know some of you are cringing, but this is really the way I can get it right now, so, and it was twice as much at Costco, four, three times as much, yeah, to be fair, but, um, you know, we're just, this is fine. If I really start to eat it every day or every couple of days, then I'll get the bigger one at Costco. Sour cream, because we always need sour cream. Popcorn shrimp for my husband. We like to have this in the freezer just to have it on hand and he had gone through his other one. Vegetable fried rice for my son as a special treat. He didn't know this was coming tonight and this is one of his favorites. Cauliflower, I buy it frozen because I, I like it's a staple. I mean, I have it at least three, four times a week. A giant thing of peanuts because we all love peanuts. I really can't eat them. They, um, my body does not like peanuts, but my husband loves peanuts and I send him to work with him. Gummy bears for work, Twizzlers for work, sliced cheese um, for sandwiches for work, taco seasoning. This is specific to HEB, it's theirs. This is really good, he really likes it because it doesn't have beans in it and he doesn't care for beans or rice. There's no beans or rice in here. Um, I can't eat this, but he absolutely loves it. And it's very economical, it's good for two or three meals. Um, a pizza for them, this Detroit style. That looks delicious. That's probably for my husband, yep. And one for Chandler, another one for my husband, Screaming Sicilian. And yep, another one for Chandler. So that is everything. It was really, you know, it was expensive. It was just, I mean, and this is really like, these are some of our staples. These are the kind of things we buy all the time because we use them up pretty much every week outside of, you know, these things. Not this, but this type of stuff. We don't buy that every week. So, yeah. Okay, that's everything. So if you wanna see me meal planning, you wanna see how I meal plan, you wanna see, I'm trying to do like almost a month at a time, um, maybe three weeks, three and a half weeks, something like that. Um, and that's what this grocery list is based off on, outside, based off of outside of the few things I couldn't get at Costco. We'll have to go back and get them. So anyway, so my butcher box is coming next week. So we're good, we're pretty good. So if you'd like to see me meal planning and what we cook around here for a split family, we are not all keto. I am keto, grain-free, gluten-free because I have to be. Um, I have food allergies and intolerances and um, so that's why I am keto. Um, 
besides there's some great benefits for me personally, I, I found I really like it. Anyway, so there's that. So please join us if you'd like to subscribe and uh, stick around for more. And uh, we do a lot of baking, a lot of keto baking. <laughs> so I just made some cookies that were beyond delicious, sugar-free and keto and amazing. So I'll link that video right up here. So, all right, I'm done rambling at you. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe before you go. Give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.